Well, hello everyone. It's me, Cynthia. I am she. It, it's really me. Hi. Um, I promised you guys some crochet, whether you liked it or not. And uh, you're going to get some crochet, whether you like it or not. Um, let's see if I can actually frame stuff in frame. I am working on a virus shawl. And it is in the beautiful red heart. It's a wrap. And uh, da, 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 da. the colorway action. So there's some action right there. Is that what it says? Yeah, it does. All right, it's a wrap is a, a one bulky weight. Let's see if I can do stuff. There we go, there's all the information on it. And uh, that's what it looks like. And that's how thin it is. I am using an F hook. Uh, no. Um, a D as in dynamite, D hook. So, uh, what am I gonna do with you all of this time? Well, I'm going to move this because I, uh, I can just not focus on stuff. Right now, I am cooking dinner. And by cooking dinner, I mean I was making a big ziti yesterday. And this is going to be really complicated <laughs> because it, um, these require a lot of counting. And, um, yeah. So I don't think I'm going to be able to just... Um, randomly make stuff. I can't, I can't just absolutely talk and, well, I guess I could. So anyway, yesterday I was making a, a big ziti for myself and Mark, and uh, we decided at 1 p.m. after, wait, we went to breakfast, then we went and to the grocery store. Mark came home, got a massage for an hour, so at uh, 1 or 2, probably 1.30, uh, we decided to go house hunting just for fun because that's what we do for fun. Um, well, <laughs> we went to a few model homes. And uh, hold on, it's counting time. Two, four, six, seven. And uh, we went back to the one we keep going back to. So uh, the lady said, you know what? You guys really must love these houses. I can't count. Okay, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. So uh, we're gonna start taking reservations because uh, the ones that you, like we have brand new ones coming out, new plots. So if you guys want, I'll give you directions. You can go look at the lots and select one and reserve it for $2,500. So we did. <laughs> um, so now we um, officially have 2,500 down. Um, it's basically right to refusal, first right to refusal of the lot uh, because the pricing of the houses have, has not come out. Uh, they gave us, she gave us a, like a roundabout number of what would be coming out and uh, we were like okay with that but if it's like way more than what she estimated then uh, she'll just give us our 2500 buck back and we'll uh, go on with our little lives um, I, I find nothing I mean we don't dislike this house and we've only been in it for like 10 months but um, we have made equity in this house and uh, the the uh, interest rates are only going up. They're not coming back down. So if we want a nice size, beautiful house to profit from in the future, it's not about us living fancy. It's about making money. <laughs> it's not about us. Um, well, kind of. Like, we want to make a lot of money so we can uh, retire early. Uh, for... So that is the purpose of that. Um, in the houses, the house that we're looking at, 
it doesn't have like a big crafty room like I have right now. And that makes me a little bit sad. They're just regular carpeted rooms. Um, I guess we could tell them since they're, they would be building it specifically for us to not carpet the main game room. So I could use that as my craft room or I could just have my own uh, special carpeting in there for myself like from Home Depot, like those hot pink carpet rugs. I want one of those. Two, four, six, eight. Or, yeah, I would get something fancy. I would, I would Cynthia it up. I love making virus shawls even though I don't use them. <laughs> I don't use shawls at all. No shawls at all. It's just such an easy pattern, except for all the counting. I'm not a fan of all the counting, and that's all you do. It's not a mindless pattern at all, by any means, because of all the counting. And, like, like things like that. That extra... Can you see it? I made it too loose. That, that irritates me. And it's a row below, so it's not like I can just go back and do it up. One, two, three, four. <sighs> so that is that. If, um, if the pricing is good, we'll know the pricing in January. That's next month. And then they'll start working. Um, they're grading the lots right now. And they're, uh, they've already put in the water and gas. I think they're doing the gas right now. So uh, they've put in the water. So they're doing the gas. And then uh, electric is last, I think. So they have to wire up the house. Uh, it'll be a neighborhood of 16 homes. Um, six will be... Oh. Ten will be gated and ten will be outside the gate. We'll be inside the gate. I don't know what the deal with that is, why people would choose to live outside a gate. Um, it just makes no sense. Maybe there's a lower HOA to be outside the gate in the, I don't know. I shouldn't have I should have should have asked. Two, four, six, okay. Other than that. Um, crocheting is fun. And I never crochet with you guys, ever. Uh, I think um, each time I do this, I think I'll do this on a Monday. Four, six, eight, ten. Um, yeah, my dinner was supposed to be prepared yesterday. So as I was saying before, let's go back to that because that was special. Uh, I... While Mark was getting his massage, I started making the dinner. I made the meats. Uh, I just browned some chicken breasts and some Italian sausage. Even though I don't eat sausage, Mark does. But I just use it for the flavor. Like even when I lived alone and me and Mark, or me and Shannon, my son, um, didn't eat a whole lot of meat, um, I would make all the meat. Um, and that includes a meatball, sausage, and chicken. Um, because the, it, the sauce, the special sauce that I make requires all of the fats in all of those meats. So, um, if I wanted to make a baked ziti, I would make sure that I would invite, invite like friends over and stuff so they could eat the meat or I would just package up all the meat and like bring it over to a neighbor or something. But yeah, cause I'm not a big meat fan. Um, chicken on the day it's made is fine. Sorry, my nose is still icky. But uh, re uh, reheated chicken, uh, it just tastes gamey to me and I can't do it. So, um, yeah, whatever I don't eat, a package up and bring away. But I have Mark now to eat my unwanted meat. <laughs> uh, good times. And I find that... Um, even though it's just him and I, I still cook for an entire family. It's very hard to cook for two. And uh, it's kind of annoying because I always have a big giant pot in the fridge at all times. 
But our first few years together, Mark refused to eat leftovers. And uh, then we started listening to um, Dave Ramsey, the money guy. And Dave Ramsey always eats his leftovers because it's a money saver. So Mark started eating his leftovers. So that's why I make a big pot of food on Sunday. On Sunday. And then uh, we eat it uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And then I'll make something else on Wednesday and for Wednesday and Thursday. So I basically just cook twice a week. But we were cooking. We were only eating salads for about three or four months. And uh, we were like really healthy and losing weight and all that. And then uh, we went on vacation. And <laughs> that went out the door. And then once we came home, um, romaine lettuce is uh, on recall right now. So uh, they've pulled those off the shelves and now um, all the uh, regular iceberg lettuce, you can't find any in town. So uh, it's annoying. Um, I insist on having salad with my baked ziti. I need salad and fresh bread. So uh, I asked the produce kid, kid, he was like maybe 17. Uh, if the romaine lettuce, because there's romaine lettuce all over the place. Uh, last week when we got home, uh, all the romaine was pulled off the shelf. There was no more romaine. They pulled it all off the shelf. So I know that this romaine is fresh romaine. So, and I'm sure they've tested it because they don't want to get sued anymore. So I asked the kid, is this safe? And he said, well, it's a fresh batch. So he couldn't say, I mean, how is he going to tell me it's going to be safe? And uh, I said, well, I have really good health insurance, so I'll take my chances because I require salad with my Italian food. So uh, this might be my last video. <laughs> um, yeah, it's good. I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure we'll be fine. I don't know what the sickness is. What is it? A listeria or something? What do you get from dirty lettuce? I don't know. But as I was walking into Smith's, walking uh, to my lettuce, I watched a man uh, pick up the last, row, uh, the last iceberg lettuce, and my heart just did a little singy sink dance. So, um, after this, um, I'm hoping maybe I can get a few of these crochet videos up and posted so I can go on to making my, uh, my, my vacation book, like physically start a book from beginning to end. And I also have to find time in my busy, busy day to order pictures. Either order them from the freepics.com and uh, or take them to take uh, my phone to CVS and pull them out of there. But I think it's just easier to sit on my couch and pick out pictures and ask them to send them. You know, like here's my ten bucks. Send me my pictures. Thank you very much. Because I think CVS, you pick them up or they, or they mail them to you. I don't know. I haven't done that in forever. Can you even see what I'm working on? Am I like butchering this? I can't see. And it hurts my neck to look up at you because you are behind my recliner above my head.
If I could get on a roll, but I'm chit-chatting. Let's try being quiet, Cynthia. I'm not used to this thin thread stuff. This is the first time I've ever used anything this thin ever. Today is a, a different day. Three, four. Can you see anything? This is not a tutorial, by the way. I can't do tutorials. So I'm just making a just a regular old virus shawl.
I did something wrong. I don't know what I did wrong. All right, so there's three. Go back to the next episode. Okay, so there are three in that row, and there's two. So, why am I struggling with this? It goes like this. One. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So, we're going. One. I, I struggle with counting, like, seriously. <laughs> Well, telling my, counting my, t um, Why am I struggling with this one? Struggle is real, y'all. I don't think I'm gonna work on this one on camera anymore. It's too annoying. I can't talk because I have to count so much. But who says you're here for talking anyway? Um. I don't know if some people just tune in just to watch people crochet. I don't know how many times I have gone looking for crochet videos of people like literally crocheting and not have it be a tutorial. Like um, Gentle Whispering, uh, Maria, I wish she would take up crochet and she would like tell stories while she's crocheting or knitting or something in her whisper voice, that would put me right to sleep, because that is perfect. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Ten. And um, if you didn't know, Maria of Gentle Whispering 
is having a baby, her and Daryl. They're gonna have a whispering baby. So I'm just um, wondering how that's gonna work. <laughs> how she's gonna make whisper ba videos with a screaming baby. Maybe she'll have a quiet baby. You never know. You never know. I am over this cold. Zelda did a video where she was working on a poncho and she was chit-chatting and I don't think I heard a word she said because I was watching her hands. <laughs> I was watching her crochet the, the bejesus out of that poncho. Because uh, crocheting, it, uh, it relaxes me. Except for this, these virus shawls that I make. Too much counting. And I can't do it when Mark's home because he always wants to chit chat. And I don't like to chit chat. So I'm always counting. So it, uh, he used to get annoyed with my crocheting at first. But, uh, I just learned to crochet, like if I'm gonna make a beanie, I make sure that my, the crown of the beanie is done, all the counting parts, before he gets home. So then I can just mindlessly crochet and um, while well, he's decompressing his day. Um, yeah. So it's easier like that. But a uh, virus shawl, there's no way I could uh, work on a virus shawl with him in the house. Isn't that weird? That's so weird. That was Ruger. <laughs> he says mommy's boring. Mommy's boring. Mommy has to change the, uh, the dryer over. I wonder what I got Mark for a bike. Like, I literally have no idea. It'll be a surprise when he opens it. It wouldn't be a light. Maybe it was a repair kit, but he already has one. But he only has one. He has two bikes. So he, maybe it is a repair kit. I better, <laughs> I better check the camera and make sure he's not watching me. Because uh, our cameras have sound now uh, in our house. So, yep. I'm always wired for sound. One, two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah, I think uh, this will be the last 
the last row I complete on camera because this is a really annoying project to work on. I didn't realize how much I had to concentrate until I was trying to tell you stuff. My niece, she's like 19 or 20 or something, I don't know. Um, I got her Christmas list today from my sister. And she's into crystals. Remember when I went on that Silver Post um, frenzy and I was going there every week like blowing an entire paychecks on crystals and stones and jewelry? Well, uh, now my niece is into all that. I have half of mine to just pack up all my crystals and stones and just hand her the box for Christmas. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I have... I spent a lot of money there. And um, it, it, it was worth it at the time, but in the end, it's just rocks. <laughs> just a bunch of rocks. Uh, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Come on, me. But you can't just re gift crystals. These are my crystals with my energy and I love them. I absolutely love each stone and crystal I've ever picked out. So no, I would never re-gift re them or gift them because, yeah. So what I might do is I might get her a gift certificate to the uh, Las Vegas Mineral and Jewelry Store or however, Jewelry and Minerals of Las Vegas, whatever store that is. My second favorite store, well, my first favorite store. Uh, I might give her a gift certificate for in there. As a uh, silver post is like double to triple the price of the other rock store. And I don't think she knows that. But maybe she wants Maybe she wants them to be from downtown Summerlin. I don't know. I don't know. Stop. Almost done with this row, and then I can take you to a different project, an easier project, a less tedious, annoying project. I mean, I will finish this thing, this fiber shawl. I don't know why I'm making it in the first place. I don't even use shawls, but maybe I'll sell it on Etsy. Why is this row giving me so much trouble? Why? Every single stitch has been a fight.
I don't like using these small hooks either. I don't like it. I want my H hook back. So um, I think that I would never use this thin yarn ever again. Not that it's like hard to work with. I don't like it's time consuming and tedious and it's not the yarn for me. So, uh, I mean, it's nice. It's pretty. It feels nice. It's not scratchy or anything. It looks like it would be stiff, but it's not. Like the regular thread that, um, the thin thread like this, you would think it would be. Do, 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 do. I can count it two, four, six, eight, ten. One, two, three, four. So close. So close. Oh, my ring hurts me. a few of these uh, crocheting videos up I can go um, well I, I'm not waiting for the crochet videos uh, I'm actually waiting for my pictures I ordered pictures um, from my Europe my vacation so I'm waiting for those to arrive so I have like a week and a half to two weeks for that to arrive and then I can start working on my vacation book yay can you hear me wheezing still from my vacation? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ugh. I'm actually excited about um, working in my creating, actually creating my vacation book. Two, three, four. And then um, I was watching uh, Pink Odd Bird, Odd Pink Bird. Pink Odd Bird, I think. And uh, if you have not seen her channel, she's a paper crafter. She makes junk journals and just beautiful journals in general. Pink Odd Bird. Uh, if I can remember, which I probably won't, I would link her channel down below. Oh, gosh, I'm like cr crackly and wheezy. Uh, she did, uh, she threw out a, a journal out into the universe and um, she had people put stuff in the journal for her and uh, some lady like went through all her pictures and like things and like backgrounds like skies and trees like she chopped up actual photographs and use them in the journal and it was so cool and pretty like like if there's a picture of someone you don't like but there's something cool in the picture you cool you pick out the cool part of the picture and throw out the person you don't like i don't know she just like the sky of pictures and like cool things none of her pictures went to waste it wasn't like I don't know. It was really cool the way she, the lady did it. Two, four, six, eight. I enjoyed it. So um, I made sure that I um, printed out, had pictures printed that have a lot of detail, whether I wanted to like frame the picture or not. Um, I wanted a lot of detail in the pictures available so that if I didn't want to use the picture, I could at least cut it up for parts. See what I'm saying? So like I picked pictures that like there are trees in there or a castle in the background or a bird flying. So like if I didn't want to use the picture on an actual page, I could just like cut out parts of the picture 
and use it in different spots. And my nose is running now. All right. Well, I didn't get a whole lot done. And this is not that big. It's a small, smaller than a kerchief. But uh, that's what I have for my little bit. Yeah, just to give you perspective on how big this is. Um, that's my hand. <laughs> I have a small little hand and that's how much I have done of this. So uh, maybe if you want me to um, tediously work on this again, I would be more than happy to because uh, I'm working on it anyway, but I just won't be working on it on camera. But if you want me to work on it on camera, um, I can add music. Uh, since I'm doing a lot of quiet counting, I can add music and just, uh, you could just watch me crochet. God, that sounds so weird to say in real life. Um, or I could, uh, yeah, that's, or you can just enjoy the silence. I don't know. But yeah, this is, the virus shawl is such a beautiful pattern. It's so beautiful. I love it. I enjoy it. I just wish I enjoyed um, wearing the shawls instead of just making them for no reason. All right. Well, I'm going to go now. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful everything. And perhaps I will see you on another day. Bye.